Lorukajesu Fuenrenya for Nenokawa <laughs> Amen. We have considered some points about the program that God did when the end of Elijah came. One. One. We have seen that God is the Holy Spirit. 
that God who dwelt in Elijah was the one who took him away from the world. As regards the departure of Elijah from the world, death and them, Satan had nothing to do. Alone. But his God <inaudible> that gave him his human spirit. Alone. His God <inaudible> that entered Elijah himself as the Holy Spirit. Who Paul calls the Lord in Second Corinthians chapter three verse seventeen. Was the one who ordered the end of Elijah and it was glorious. Another point that we have considered is that truly the spirit of God that he put in man does not die and it does not decay as the body does. God, the Holy Spirit, who always carried Elijah about when he was alive here, was the one who took away the ever living spirit of Elijah in a chariot of fire to the place of comfort he prepared for his people at that time. So the spirit of Elijah departed this world as a living spirit. And the glorious end, a glorious exit, God gave to Elijah. Because a spirit that a child of fire and horses of fire carried away from this world that would not be an exit of lamentation but it was a glorious exit another point that we have considered is that the spirit of the Lord that is God the Holy Spirit who was the Lord that endured Elijah and who made Elijah his prophet who used Elijah to the end as his prophet and who came upon Elisha from Elijah that spirit it was not when the end of Elijah came when he took Elijah away in a chariot of fire was the first time he would carry Elijah we have considered in the Bible that in all the days of Elijah here has God's prophet this spirit of the Lord or God of the Holy Spirit as the Lord over Elijah who made Elijah his prophet who always controlled the life of Elijah always carried Elijah to all places he wanted to use him we have received the witness of Obadiah about this that the spirit of the Lord always carried Elijah we said last week also that it was not Obadiah alone who was a messenger of King Ahab who knew that the Holy Spirit that was controlling Elijah always carried him about. We said many others knew so. Let's consider some among them today. Who knew that the spirit of the Lord 
who was the life of Elijah, always carried him about to the places he wanted to use him. People of God who can hear our voice by the power of the living God, may we also accept Jesus if we are yet to accept him. Because he is the giver of the spirit of the Lord, the Holy Spirit. And we who have accepted him and into whom he has brought in his, I mean, God and his Holy Spirit, we pray. May we also be like Elijah to the end. God of the Holy Spirit who dwells in us May we, with our spirit, worship him to the end of our lives. This spirit of the Lord, may he perform as the Lord of us to the end. And when our lives here, is all the days of our lives here, May he fulfill all his wills for us in Jesus' name. And when our hands will come, and when our hands will come, our natural and spiritual children, may they gain the Lord from our lives. Now let's take a witness that apart from Obadiah, many others also knew that God the Holy Spirit always carried Elijah as prophet all about him as the Lord of Elijah who controlled the life of Elijah day by day as the eternal Lord who is in Elijah today where he is and who will dwell in Elijah forever according to the saying of Jesus the Lord in John chapter 14 verse 15 through 17 now let's read that witness we said we would give concerning the truth that there were many others who knew this great fact that the Holy Spirit who is the Lord that endures whoever belongs to him that he always controlled the life of Elijah and he always carried him to everywhere he wanted to use him. The book of Holy Second Kegi. Kings, chapter 2, verse 15 Kegi, then through 18. Yes. 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 And Elijah, Elisha, the son of Elijah, has come upon Elisha. That is, according to the saying of the Lord, in John chapter fourteen, that anyone God gives the Holy Spirit to, that the Spirit will dwell in him forever. According to what we just read, that day Elijah was taken up, the Holy Spirit that was inside him came upon Elisha and those who are called sons of the prophets who saw Elisha when he got to River Jordan and he cried you God of Elijah you God who indwelt Elijah you God the power of Elijah here is your face 
And Elisha took the mantle of Elijah and used it, he smote Jordan. And the Jordan parted here and there. The sons of the prophets who saw him said, the spirit of Elijah had come upon Elisha. Elijah is a living Spirit. And his spirit was a living spirit when he departed this world. The Holy Spirit of God, the Spirit of Life of God, went away with Elijah from the world. And it was he who put the Spirit of Elijah in the chart of fire and took him away from the world. In the end of Elijah, the Spirit blessed Elisha. See, the Holy Spirit is, is inexhaustible. We read last week that the Holy Spirit is the Lord. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 Therefore, him all creatures above and below receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit remains as he is. The Spirit of the Lord who carried Elijah away. A double portion of it fell upon Elisha. And when he performed a wonder that he always did Elijah, the sons of the prophet <laughs> saw it. And they said, The spirit of Elijah had come upon Elisha. Go on. Yes. When they saw the grace that had come from Elisha, from Elijah, the sons of the prophets that were making jest, when Elijah had not been taken up, they said, Elisha, do you know that your master, whom oh, you are Lord following, Lord. your master, will be taken away from you today and you won't see him again. Perhaps what they were thinking was your master, a powerful man, is your glory. Your powerful master. If it's by him you are greater than we are. It's by your powerful master that you are famous. Your powerful master is all you are. He will be taken away from you today. And you will become ordinary like us today. Oh, we may even be greater than you are. Perhaps that was a bit of what they were thinking of. But when they saw him, that the spirit of Elijah had fallen on Elisha, the Bible says they trooped to Elisha and bowed themselves to him. I remember a saying of Peter, an apostle. In 2 Peter chapter 4, verse 14, we won't read it as time is past spent. There he caused the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Glory. The Spirit of Glory has fallen on Elisha. God himself said about Moses, he said, my honor that is on you, I will put it on Joshua. My honor, that is the Holy Spirit, that is in you, which is your honor as Moses. Joshua. When I put it in Joshua, then it will be as you have. Numbers. Chapter 27. Verse 18. 
through 20 by the Holy Spirit Elisha Elisha became like Elijah by the Holy Spirit Joshua Joshua became like Moses children of God who can hear us let's stop chasing vanities of this world all things that are of dust all riches that are of dust all glory that that will return to dust let's stop chasing them let's begin to pray for the Holy Spirit the spirit of Moses the spirit of Elijah the spirit of Elisha the Holy Spirit who Paul calls the Lord who Jesus calls God as the Father the world and the Holy Spirit. That's the gospel of John. Chapter 14. Verses 15. To 18. And verse 23. Let's quickly read that. That Jesus our Savior. Calls the Holy Spirit. Father, world, and Holy Spirit. That's the only one God who is. God, the world inside God, and the Spirit inside God. According to the teaching of Jesus, that they want to read, He's the only one God who is. John, chapter 14. Verses 15 to 18 and verse 23. Yes. Yes. This is Jesus speaking. So, whatever we read here is a teaching. Given by Jesus the Lord concerning the person of the Holy Spirit. Yes, what you? Yes. 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 To the apostles, that the Holy Spirit will abide in the apostles forever. One, as we have been saying earlier, anyone who receives the Holy Spirit, like Elijah, becomes ever living because the Holy Spirit is the eternal Spirit who dwells in him as made him belong to God forever. The second point that the Lord says here is that throughout eternity, the Spirit will dwell in the apostles eternally. In this point, what are we driving at? And which you should take note of. It is that this Holy Spirit, anyone God gives him to, the Holy Spirit will abide in him forever. The Holy Spirit will not spend few years in him and says he's completed his words and for him to say father it's your turn father come and dwell in him because I the Holy Spirit have finished my own words 
The father will not come to live in the person and after some time for him to say my wife, son, come, it's your turn. Come and and if you are you. But according to this revelation of Jesus, anyone he gives the Holy Spirit to lie, lie, the Holy Spirit will dwell in him forever. He will now read that the person in whom the Holy Spirit dwells, the Son also comes to dwell in him. The Holy Spirit dwells in him forever. The Son too dwells in him forever. The one in whom the Holy Spirit dwells, the Father also dwells in him forever. Then it will mean Baba, that the Father, Mama, Son, and, and the Holy Spirit and the one God who is. So anyone in whom the Holy Spirit dwells. It's the only one God who is that dwells in him forever. Anyone in whom the Holy Spirit dwells, it means that the Father who's the spirit is the spirit and who's the word is his word it's the one who dwells in him forever so according to this revelation of the Lord that you are apostles that spirit that the Father will give to you Amen. is the eternal Spirit who will dwell in you forever. But I bet, okay. We then read that the apostles that the Son will also dwell in them forever. The apostles that the Father would also dwell in them forever. Yes, in whom the Holy Spirit dwells forever. It means that the teaching of the triune God, the Holy Trinity, is, is the teaching given by Jesus. Baba. Father. Oro. The Word. Atenema. And the Holy Spirit. Tenbenum, Baba. That is in the Father. Baba. Father. Oro. Baba the Word of the Father that is inside him. Enemema. The Holy Spirit. That is the spirit of the Father that dwells in the Father. Three persons. Baba. Father. Oro. World. Atem. And the Holy Spirit. The triune God. Three persons God. Three persons in one God. Then, the teaching of the Holy Trinity. Is the teaching given by Jesus the Lord Himself? How I got Baba, Oro, Amen. Long been the leader, lai lai. Then it means that the Father, lai lai the leader. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit who endured Elijah. So Elijah was a living being for us. You are not a child of God who have accepted Jesus. You are not a man who have received the Holy Spirit. I got Baba, Oro. It means that Father, World, and the Holy Spirit become your God forever and you belong to God forever. We have read John chapter 14. We have read verses 15 to 17 that the eternal Holy Spirit would abide in the apostles forever. Now let's read verse 18 that Jesus the Savior would also come to the apostles. Yes, 
He has said with his mouth. In verse 16. In verse 17. That the Father would send the Holy Spirit to them. In his name. Who would dwell in them. He then said. They should also expect him. That he too would come. Come as you. Said he would come as father. I want to leave you. Fatherless. You my apostles. That I have told you. That the Holy Spirit. Would dwell in you. Forever. I also will come. What are we emphasizing? If you are like Elijah. Your human spirit. That makes you to be alive as a man. You can give it to Jesus. You are set him as a oh, man and you are baptized. Oh, and you belong to him to the end. Oh, the to lie, lie. Then you become a possession of the Almighty forever. Hey, this is lie. good news of great joy. Who is Satan? Who is death in your life? Who is hell to you you who have been made by the father is what an Holy Spirit they are doing you forever you listeners make sure you attend to your duty practice the faith of Jesus practice the Bible faith be like Elijah. God, you tell that, Elijah. that day you will depart this world. Make the Holy Spirit remain in you and let him take you away. Now verse 18. The son said he too would come. He made his habitation in the apostles. Oh yes. Yes. Next, In verse 18, the Lord says, You apostles. I want to leave you to become fatherless for you to have a father. I will come to you. Come along with me. When the Lord said now, in verse 18 that the apostles he would not leave them fatherless. He had told them earlier that the Spirit would come into them. And the Holy Spirit is the Father. If the Holy Spirit is separate, from Jesus. That would mean they already had the Father in them. I told them that the Holy Spirit would dwell in them forever. That's in verse 16 and 17. Then it said in verse 18 that if you did not come to them, they would be fatherless. They would be fatherless. Listeners. What does the Lord imply? He is the Holy Spirit. He even said it later. Let's now go to verse 23. Verse 23. Oh, yeah. Yes, we down. Yes, we down. Oh, you fool. Oh, you fool. Yes. Baba, me you si fena re. Baba, you fena re. I want si to wa. Baba, you fena re. Yes. I want si to wa. I want o si to wa. I o si she bugwe wa kalu re. I want o se bugwe wa se no re. That's verse twenty three. Any ba fena me. Anyone who loves me. Who keeps my word? We will love him. Like your daughter, from the father. We will love him from the father. So to be twenty-three. Yes, sit down. Yes. Oh, si we fun pe. Oh, we fun pe. Bi ane kaba fena mi. Bi ane kaba fena mi. Yo paro mi ma. Yo paro mi ma. 
baba mi yo si feran re baba mi yo feran re awa si to wa awa si wa to wa a o si se ibu gbe wa pelu re haleluya o haleluya bite abai mu now if we ese kerin din ni ogun connect verse 16 e keta din ni ogun verse 17 e keji din ni ogun verse 18 ati ogun le meta to verse 23 da bai ju won papo he will connect papo. all of them ha ri pe a kan ni olorun then we realize that god is one god is one to je eleda Who is, who is the creator? Allah is the God, the creator. God is Elijah. Who made Elijah? Adam apostles and the apostles. Allah is the God, the creator. Toso kale bi oro. The world that came down as a son. To gba lori agbelegun. And who saved us on that cross? Ya mo ri keni. John chapter 1. Ese keni de kerin. Verse 1 through 4. And ese kerin na. And verse 14. Ati Olorun e leda. And God the creator. To tu wa bi e mi mi mo. Who returned as the Holy Spirit. Not the e mi mi mo. To become the Holy Spirit. To e ma jo Olorun enikan kan wa. That would be our personal God. To ma ma ba gbe lai lai. abide with us forever Loni, today eleda, as the creator Allah is on his throne above Loni, today Yolubala. as the savior Allah is on his throne above Loni, today yeah, as the holy spirit Allah is on his throne above God dwells in you a believer Le, in him. Si. here it again Loni, today eleda, God as the creator is on his throne above e to you who believe in him today God as the savior Ara the word of to God that came to die on the cross he is on his throne above Loni, today Olorun, God has the Holy Spirit dwells in you You are saved soul. Ele lo fa o. This is the reason. To lo do she come in. The Lord gave another teaching. Ona yan apostle. And he said you are apostle. Esa igbara ti mo se. The salvation work of God. Ele ma se de ni gbogbo agbaye. Proclaim it all over the world. Ele ba te ba emi omo to wa yi. Who accepts me the son who came to the world? Who accepts my salvation work? Don't you baptize him? Baba. Yes. Mama. Father. Yes. Son. And the Holy Spirit. Oh, one more year, Lord. Enter his life. Anyone who accepts me the word of God. Who came as a, to the word of God. And he died on the cross. And he's baptized. Baba. The father. Oh, the world. Father. Oh, the world. 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 Esele koko de logun verse 19 ma to ri keji ni ogun verse chapter 28 ese koko de logun verse 19 oya ni tori na e lo e lo e ma ko ri lede gbogbo e na awon apostle yes ki e si ma baptize won awon te ba te ko e baptize won ni oruko baba ni oruko baba ati ni ti omo ati ni ti ebi mimo That's Matthew 28:19. Hey, your Lord, people of God, they are born away. Who can hear us? Uh, case, Matthew, you. Take note of this Matthew. Yes, so you are. Jesus, the Lord. Go so pray, Lord, on Baba. Did not say God the Father. Go so pray, Lord, on Mama. God the Son. Go so pray, Lord, on Him. Amen. God the Holy Spirit. To the Lord, who can make time? Because God is not three. Are you can hear Lord? God is one. The Bible says, "For Israel, hear you, Israel. O Lord, Lord, the Lord your God, and your command is one Lord. Do you turn on me? Do you turn on me? O Rikefa, chapter six, Ezekiel, verse four, Atimak, and Mark. O Rikejila, chapter twelve." As a cocker, then look back. Verse twenty-nine. I your command, O Lord. God is one. Baba, the Father. Or I know, Baba. The word inside the Father. Amen, no, Baba. The spirit inside the Father. Hello, Katowa. That's the only one God who is. Kela wansa. What are we driving at? Eh, we don't be near Elijah. The spirit that dwells in Elijah. Baba. The Father. Or the word. Eh, Mama. Ma. And the Holy Spirit. Nengwa Toba le Elijah. When he came upon Elijah. 
the sons of the prophets who were making Jezebelisha before that his master will be taken away from him they went to him and bowed to him Baba, the father Mama, the eh, father Mama. the Holy Spirit had entered into Elisha. Therefore, instead of Elisha, the land of Israel, Elisha became a scholar. All Christians all over the world, let's stop studying satanic teachings. What is a satanic teaching? Jesus, if you can bow to me, yes, all oh, the world and glories and riches, all the past of the world will become yours. That was the teaching given by the devil. The world, all its riches, its breakthroughs, its glories, all things that are in this world will become yours. Then you will know you are a great servant of God, that we are a great servant of God, all over the world, that is a satanic teaching, we take note, that in Matthew chapter 4, where the devil gave his teaching, and in Luke chapter 4, where Satan gave his teaching, our Lord, I mean, sent him away, he did not accept and it reaches from him, he did not receive the power of the water, but he sent him away. But we geos in Nigeria, we geos in the world. It is what we are teaching. It's now is what we are doing. Now. It is what we are teaching. Now. It, I mean, our glory consists in them. Now. And they are the things that make us great servants of God. Things that Satan offered to Jesus the Savior and the Lord sent him away. Let's stop following the devil and the things of the devil. Let's come back to the sin of Jesus. Let's come back to the Holy Spirit. Let's pray that Jesus Lord, give me your Holy Spirit. Give me your Holy Spirit. Give me your Holy Spirit. Me your Holy Spirit. I pray to you like Elisha. I, 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 I have the Holy Spirit. So give me the Holy Spirit. Let's come back to the Holy Spirit. Yes, general that are resolute to follow Satan. Yes, to clamp on the things of this world that they are very consistent and things of this world. Leave their churches. Come back to the God of Elisha. Come back to the God of Elisha. And let's always pray for the Holy Spirit. The eternal spirit. That will make us belong to God forever. We continue in the reading of 2 Kings chapter 2. The sons of the prophets. When they saw a demon of the Holy Spirit in the life of Elisha. They went to Elisha and yeah, bowed to him. What was we pay? And they said, Yes. What are we from? What are we Elisha? What? No. Yes. I don't talk for you. I like my run back by Lua. I want to run share. Yes. I want to pay. Yes. Jackie won't kill you. Yes. Kim won't kill you. See what you are. Yes. Boy, I am you. You want to get. This is the point we want to see here. I said it's not Obadiah alone. Who knew? But the spirit of the Lord always carried Elijah. But many others also knew. This is a witness. The sons of the prophets said we have 50 strong men here. 
They can travel far to search for your master. Let them search for him all about. Oh yeah, you want to be lost? See, because the angel, the spirit of the Lord, has taken him to a place we don't know. This is a sure thing that many others knew. That the Holy Spirit, the spirit of the Father, the Lord of Elijah, who controlled the Lord of Elijah in all his days, and who carried Elijah into the chariot of fire. They knew that the spirit always carried Elijah about. But they did not know that it's being carried on that day was different from the ones that were earlier. That, that, that was the exit of Elijah from the world. That the place he took him to was not where they could access. The spirit had taken the father home and taken him to the place of Abraham's comfort in any below. But they didn't know. They said, let's search for him. But Elisha knew that he did carried on that day was not the one that would make them find but him. To be called, yeah. But the Lord has taken him away from the Let world logo. in a glorious manner forever, forever. And he will not return to Mount Carmel again. Yes, his ministration on the, in the world had Man. finished him. Gloriously. At the end, they did gloriously. But what the of the prophet did not know. Yes, they were resolute yeah, against Lord Elisha. What? They said, hey, let's search for what him. Man, because that's what the Spirit always did. Man, he always carried him out. out. Be he would have taken him somewhere. We will search and find him. That's why you can't go to one week. Boya, mi oluwa ti ge soke. Yes. O si ti so sori okan ninu oke nla won ni. Yes. Tabi si na foni foji ko. Yes. O si wi pe. Yes. E ma se ran se. Elisa ni e ma lo ran se wa oluwa me. Elisha said, o ni e ma ran se. He said do not say. Ke ni mo se da lohun. Ni gba ti won si ro titi oju fiti. Yes. Oh, we fun wa pe. Yes. Ran se. O da e ran se. Yes. Ni tori na. Ni tori na. Won na ajo ta kunrin. Yes. Won si wa ni ajo meta. Won wa lojo meta. Sugbon mo ko ri. Mo ri. Mo le ri. They did not find him and they could oh, not. Really? They could not. Oh, Lord, they because yeah. the Lord has taken him away yes. from the world. Yes. He said, Do not say. 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 He go. Baba, not say. not say. He said, Do not say. Has been taken away from the world. What have we come here to see? It's not only Obadiah who knew that the Holy Spirit of the Lord, who is God, that controlled the life of Elijah, who is God, that made him his prophet. Yes. Who is God? That made it the life of Elijah what it was. Who made it the hand of Elijah what it was? That the spirit has taken Elijah away. In the name of Jesus, our Savior. Like Elijah. May we follow Jesus to the end. Like Elijah. The Holy Spirit. May he arrive our life to the end. Like Elijah. Like Elijah. When we will finish to go, to work, go, to go, gloriously, gloriously. We have said that day. The man in which we go, we are not about him. The man in which we go, we are not about him. The man in which we go, we are not about him. The man in which we go, we are not about him. 
the manner in which we go, our may it not be lost for us. Our Creator who put the Spirit in us. Yes, that by which we are human beings, the manner in which we go, our Creator, may it not be lost. Follow no rapada. For God the Redeemer, Kofiukoro, who used His accusing death to buy us for Himself, to belong to Him forever. But the house is there. But the manner in which we go forward. Jesus
Lati do afo pe Kristi lati mu e ko ti e sese gbo to yi wa se ti bo ni oni wa su yin ni orisu agbe de o oni dare oni ijo wa wa ni popo ni ilesha si ilu akure lati ma awon ebi ti e ka wa wa ni osogo ile ife e babon akure eko ekare adu ekiti ata lo ilu mira e fi atoju se yanse si odo ejo o kan odo ejo odo meta to tele ra won eta aro ati o kan e dara po mo wa fo wakati ere ayo on la la si ko yi pa na lo se tu nbo emi mo fi o ba mi be o